Good morning, I'm Cameron. And I'm Natalie. We're here at the new racetrack just down the road from Jude Academy. Today we're going to take a trip over to Circle B and see the great wildlife we have here in Polk County. Also find out some of the responsibilities of Miss Powell in the cafeteria and feature one of our fantastic student volunteers. They sell a lot more than just gasoline here at Racetrack. They have boiled peanuts, ices, and even frozen yogurt. But don't forget about the pastries and the coffees. You can even make your own milkshake. That sounds delicious, but here's some of our clubs. A-Team will meet on Monday from 3.15 to 4.15. Chess Club and Robotics will meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Book Bowl will be on Wednesday in Mrs. Herndon's room. Last week, some of our 7th graders got to go to the Circle B Bar Reserve. It was so fun. Circle B Bar Reserve, where we had loads of fun. This is Mrs. Rex, our guide, who taught us so much about ecosystems. One of the ecosystems is the Banana Creek Marsh, where we did water testing to see if it was clean or dirty. Another ecosystem is Lake Hancock, which is home to alligators and wildlife. We also learned about birds, like the limpkin, and the water turkey, and the snowy egret. Not only is there nature outside of the classroom, but there is inside. This week in Ms. Forney's class, our students got to participate in six labs involving chemistry. First, you start a flame by using the striker. Burning lithium chlorine produces a red flame. Burning copper sulfate produces a green flame. Burning table salt produces an orange yellow flame. Burning sugar produces molasses. Salt does not burn. Can you believe it? The baking soda lab produced a gas. The steel wool lab produced a sparking flame. The magnesium lab produced a very bright light after it was burned. And lastly, the pennies were soaked in hydrochloric acid and then burned, which created a green flame. School procedures here at Jude Academy are very important. Here are a couple of reminders to keep us right on track. If you get cold, remember you can wear a solid navy blue jacket or a jam jacket. You must keep water bottles in your book bag unless you're at PE or lunch. Remember, you must have a planner or pass at all times to move around campus. Thanks, Cameron. That was really nice of you. Speaking of being nice, one of our students, Hannah Clark, volunteers at the First Baptist Church every Monday night to feed the homeless. I come every Monday night it's around like 4.15, between 4.15 and 4.30. And then we make sandwiches, then like we have a special dish and today is turkey soup. And like when we get to like the places that we serve, we, there's two groups. The first group, the first stop is Nails. And then the uh, second group, the first stop is Silver Lake. And like we have to bring lights and stuff because it gets dark. And we have worship, like, we usually have it, but if the pastor's not there, we just like talk and we read from the Bible and stuff. The stops I go to, it's mostly just like single like parents and stuff. And mostly, like at Nails, there's a lot of kids. It's mostly kids at Nails. I do this because I like, enjoy it and it's like one of my hobbies. I like helping people. So I like seeing their faces when they finally get something to eat. I just like doing it and it's like more people and more people like lose their jobs in this economy and stuff. And it's just like, I'd rather help them out and like with the, help them eat and stuff. So like they actually get a little bit of food at least one day a week. And so that's why I do it. The question of the day is, which best describes an atom? A, a core of electrons. B, a core of protons and neutrons surrounded by electrons. C, a core of electrons surrounded by neutrons. Or D, a core of protons surrounded by atoms. You guessed B, a core of protons and neutrons surrounded by electrons. You are correct. Tuesday, February 26th, the eighth graders are going to be taking the FCAT writing test. Thank you, Ms. Medeho and Ms. Floyd for being such great teachers. As a matter of fact, we have a guest speaker come to give us a few tips. 
Guten Tag to all you 8th graders who are going to take FCAT rights. I'm here to help you get good grade with good tips. Number one, make big detailed outline. Details are crucial. Do one, two, and three before A, B, and C. And have personification, alliteration, and some irony in there. And don't forget, you have to have grabbers at the beginning and zingers at the end. There are also don'ts in FCAT. I mean don't, don't, don't. Do not say the reason is because, and do not say I'm going to tell you. Those are big no's. Well, I hope these tips help you become as smart as Einstein. <laughs> really, Cameron? Albert Einstein? I think it's fantastic. Can't you see the resemblance? It runs in the family. <laughs> well, also on Tuesday, there's a soccer game against Buck. Girls at 6 o'clock and boys at 7. We'll be back after these messages. And now to feature the word of the week. The word of the week is lavish. Lavish means abundant, profuse, fancy. The young ladies had a lavish tea party after school. So many books. I can only check out three, though. Which one am I going to choose? Uh, that one looks good, but so does that one. Oh, that one looks really interesting. Which one should I choose? What to do? Which one? So many to choose from at the library. The cafeteria ladies are very important here at Jude Academy. They make breakfast and lunch. They come at 6.30 in the morning and don't leave till 2. Next time you see them, give them a thank you. We had a chance to sit down with Miss Powell, the cafeteria manager. I've been here at Jewett Academy for 19 years. I've been with food service for 34 years. And I am responsible for ordering all the food, making sure it's prepared on time. And I love to be with the students every day. I love to talk to them and see how they enjoy their lunch. I love to be with my employees every day. We have a great time down here. Cameron, I'm getting a little hungry. I think it's time to go back for seconds. Well, Jam Champs, if you get a chance to stop by Race Shot, get yourself a snack. That's right. Have a great weekend.